Hello there, YouTube. This is Day in NY MTB, and I'm here with Henry. What's your your YouTube channel? He doesn't want to say. I'll link it in the comments below or in the description. But uh, we're out here at Saratoga Park, taking a little little leisurely stroll on the the five mile trail that they have out here. It's it's not incredibly difficult. I'd say it's a definitely like a, a green, maybe blue in some area trail. But um, the reason why we're out here today is because uh, this guy, Henry, just got this. It's a Canyon Neuron 5. Um, it was purchased earlier this year by a friend that um, I purchased off of him. He was getting rid of it. Figured it'd be a great next bike for Henry. It's a 140, 130 trail bike. And the purpose of this is I want to compare what you get with the Canyon Neuron versus the stump jumper right so these are pretty similar bikes they're both horse length they're both alloy they both have well 140 up in the front at least from the factory and they have 130 in the rear um and they actually have the same size shock it's a 190 by 45 millimeter right so it's pretty similar um but there's some distinct differences in how they come spec from the factory that if you're considering a you know a short travel trail bike that you might want to and you're looking at the stump jumper you might want to seriously consider the neuron all right so i'll just uh, go through what the neuron comes with because this is more or less um factory right now we haven't done a whole lot um i did swap out his dropper with a the dropper actually that came off of the fuse because the fuse came with the 125 millimeter dropper um this neuron came with the 150 mil which was a uh, few inches too big for him uh the bike is still slightly too big for him but with this with the shorter dropper that's able to insert deeper and um not go up so high he's able to make it work fairly well but all right so we'll go over it everything else is uh factory other than the handlebars were were changed as well but um that doesn't really matter okay so this comes with uh up the front like i said 140 millimeter uh fork this is spec with a RockShox Recon, which is similar, maybe a little bit different. Um, I'm not exactly sure the stanchion size. I don't know if it's a, a 34. Um, I don't believe it's the same as the 35 that comes on the stump jumper. But one thing it does have that I kind of like over the, the, the RockShox 35 is um, rather than being a sweep adjustment for the compression, it actually has stops and clicks so it's a little more predictable and you can kind of fine tune it to how you want to ride which is pretty neat um with the brakes this comes equipped with the two piston sram level t brakes now it is the the um, entry level uh level brakes and levels are the um the two piston uh, guide would be the four piston it would be nice if they did put the guides on there but even better than that um, I understand that guides cost a little bit more. It would have been cool if they put the uh, the DB8s on here. Only reason being is not only do you get the four piston, but it's also a mineral oil versus a dot system. So, um, you know, eventually we might want to change these out and uh, put something, uh, a four piston brake on there. And when we do that, I would prefer to go with uh, some sort of Shimano or at least a mineral oil brake. Um, but other than that, it's got, uh, I believe it's 180, 180 on the rotors, and those are the center line. Um, these wheels, the, a little disappointing that the wheels have a center lock rotor. It would be nice if they had a six bolt just for uh, a little more uh, options. And um, just uh, the fact that these are Shimano hubs. I'm not a huge fan of Shimano hubs. Reason being is um, you can't really find XD hub driver bodies for them and uh so you're a little limited and i like barons in my hubs i are sealed barons rather i don't like the open barons that uh the shimanos tend to come with but one thing they did do these are um i believe they're the mt400 hubs which is a step up from the mt200s that you typically see at bikes this spike le or spec level and s speaking of that things you don't normally see you normally don't see a sram level break at this spec level you would likely see a tectro um brake which um whether or not it's better or worse than a level t is up to you but in my eyes the sram level t is a is a premium brake uh, compared to um some of the tectros that you see on a lot of bikes especially the ones that are all plastic lever bodies um 
but the uh, the shock and this is another area where the canyon comes better than the stump jumper they put a rock shocks deluxe select plus on here which is significantly better than that x fusion uh, shock that you see on the stump jumper the fuel ex5 also comes with that and a lot of other bikes i think even polygon on their lower specs will will come with that uh that same x fusion shock which is absolutely awful and horrible and you know trying to tune that is is a nightmare so it's pretty nice to actually see this on there um another thing you don't again you don't typically see this on bikes this spec level is uh so it does have sram sx so sx uh, derailleur shifter and cranks but the um the sx crank they put on there if you can see is uh, a dub bottom bracket uh, crank. Well, I guess it'd be easier to show you here. Yeah, so you get a dub system. So if ever you want to upgrade your drivetrain, you don't have to monkey around with trying to get the right bottom bracket and worry about all that stuff, which is pretty simple nowadays anyways. And it is a threaded bottom bracket, which again is a nice thing to see. It makes it more user-friendly for if and when you want to do some upgrades. Um, so uh, that that's pretty nice. Um, and again, kind of weird that they did it. So you got SX uh, crank shifter derailleur. The cassette is actually an NX cassette. So they, I don't know why. Um, I mean, it, there's not much difference between an NX and an SX cassette, but the, SX, or the NX cassette is a little lighter. Um, presumably it's a little a little nicer than the SX cassette that you typically see. So it's it's kind of nice to see that they, they spent a little to, to get you a little extra on there. But um, ride-wise, I have not ridden this myself. Let's see, Henry, how's it ride? Good? He likes it. So, um, you know, ride-wise, I'm assuming that they're fairly similar. Um, the, the rear suspension will handle a little bit differently. They got the, I uh, can't remember what they call it, but the triple phase or something like that uh, of the design for the Canyon, which is supposed to be a little more um, progressive feel where you know it's not um, it's not as linear as the uh, the horse link on the uh, the stump jumper um, one of these days I'll, I'll air up the suspension for my weight and take it down and uh, really get a uh, on trail feel uh, for you know comparison between the stump jumper and the and the neuron but this is just a quick video just want to take a little time to uh, share uh, this little comparison and um, while we're at it, the best part, this was $2,800. This was selling for around $2,200. So, you know, then this has been highly modified, but it, if I was comparing the two and is how this comes stock worth 600 more than this? Absolutely not. You'd buy this every day and then throw a better fork on it and you're golden. Like, and if you really wanna go go all out you could slap a you know a gx derailleur and, and shifter on there and and you'd be riding for the next five years with no problems but uh let me know what you think uh comment below later bye